Welcome back to Kenshi, and welcome to the channel. I am Twisted Logic. It seems as if we don't have enough wheat fields here. The silos have stopped. Otto's idling, not making sandwiches. Made a couple already. Looks like about six so far. And they're building this hemp farm, so I think maybe one more, one more wheat farm. We'll go wheat farm extra large just right off the bat. And let me line that up here. That looks good. Right there. Confirm. So wheat farm large. Or wheat farm extra large right here. It's going to be grown at the next harvest. Just because the... We're out of grain right now. So to make sure that they don't use the green in the silo here. I'm gonna hit this power button right here. Power switch off. As well as this one right here. Out of resource, but then when I hit the power, power switched off. Excellent. But let's check on Katoshi. Okay, excellent. Katoshi's assassination skill is now 18. And I'm doing this mainly for the chance to break free when being carried away. Resisting knockout attempts and kidnapping attempts. Excellent. So, Katoshi and Dr. Chung can make their journey back to Crossroads. And you know what? Let's stop by this shack right here. See if anything was put back in here. Oh, looks like Dr. Chung's faster. Okay. 10% strength XP on Dr. Chung and 50% on Katoshi. However, it's at 85% encumbrance. Now, one of the subscribers had let me know that it's 70%. 70% strength XP is where you want to be, or 70% encumbrance is where you want to be. Have a look at this. We got some wheat straw. We'll take that. Leather cup. Let's see what's in this chest. Oh, okay, just the lore. Just the lore books here. Okay. So Katoshi and Dr. Chung can... We'll see, we'll see about this. Let's have Katoshi and Dr. Chung trade. Okay, so four of the generator cores to Dr. Chung and Katoshi, let's see. Still at 51, still at 50% strength XP, but his athletics has, XP has gone up. And I'm thinking that he could probably move a little bit faster as well. Okay, I'm going to have Katoshi and Dr. Chung are running together, but they're, they're they traded generator cores, so Dr. Chung has about half of the generator cores, and Katoshi has the other half. And they're both moving about five miles an hour. Maps. And I'm just going to tell Dr. Chung and Katoshi to move over to Crossroads, and we'll see if they make it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, and let me know what you think in the comments. i got to make sure that we're getting building materials here. Okay, GNU and Sewer at the mine. I'm going to muster everybody right here. Because I want to see who's who needs jobs. So I'm mustering everybody right here and letting them go back to work. Okay, so Kang, Soto, Gnu, and Su are making building materials. Logic was researching. Rain the Giant's doing electronics. Okay. Otto needs food to make. Okay. 
and Ruka and Logan are farming. And we got a farm trader on the way to Crossroads, which is great news. Okay, crops are about 57%. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit, cut ahead. What is this? What is this? Oh, we got a guru right here. Otto? Attack this guru. Unprovoked. Somebody should be, I'm pretty sure it's Kang should be, yeah, he should be foraging animals. So I'm not going to micromanage that. I want to build some new buildings here. I don't want this base to be too big, but <laughs> I guess we're going to see what happens. I'm going to go to buildings and I want a storm house. Storm house, building material 16, okay. Long house. Building materials 24. I think we're going to do the longhouse. Let's see. Okay, I like this spot right here, but it looks like some of the torches are in the way. So let me just dismantle some of these. Uh, the place looks like an airport now. <laughs> uh, that's alright. Oh, is they still making torches? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Should be fine. Let's make this long house. Can we... Too close to another building. Okay, maybe this one too? Oh, great. Now I can build it now. So some of the torches were interfering. So I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, just like that. Excellent. So this is going to be 24 building materials. Confirm. Okay, good news adding the first building materials. I think this one's going to take a while because... I, I saw that we had too many building materials and then... I planned for way too many torch posts. <laughs> so each one of these little lights is one building material. <laughs> and they're still making them. Should be fine. Should be fine. I'm gonna speed up time. I'll wait for this farm trader. Oh, looks like they're coming now. Oh, here they come right now. Farm traders. We have wares for you, no hives. <laughs> Excellent. Canoe's our broker, so he'll do the trade deal. Here it comes now. Special prices for you. Best in the world. Well, we'll see about that. Stock up while you can, no hives. Okay, I want all of this wheat straw. We have way too many cactuses already. I could buy these building materials too. Building materials, old blue should be right here. Yes. Hamburger. Excellent. Okay, we still have 90,000, which is great. I'm going to bring Gnu over to the wheat straw storage. Right over here. He's going to bring the bulls with him. And then pause the game here. And we'll go to Tonka. No, 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 no. Hamburger. Hold down shift. Get all this in the wheat straw storage. 
excellent. Se uh, 74, nice. Okay, so we'll be making sandwiches in no time. You knew? You can... I'm also going to deposit the building materials over here. I know he wants to build with them, but... It's a lot easier to do it this way, so that way... Uh, just because the bull's inventory. There we go. Okay. Because while it's in the bull's inventory, you can't use it for anything. So this should be off. The, the damn kid. I turn. I know I turned that battery off. Oh, he keeps loading it. It should be okay. Maybe I'll tell Otto to build the farm here. This is going to require 60 wheat straw. Ruka? You can build this too. Okay, I'm just going to turn Otto's job off. Oh great, okay, so now they're... I'll be making sandwiches again shortly. Since we bought all that wheat straw, we don't have to do the... We, all the harvest is going to go to him, but... I want to make sure they built this first. Now, I was thinking about... Setting up a shop. An NPC shop. So I think I'm going to need a building for that as well. I think this one's going to be kind of for crafts. Oh, excellent. Dr. Chung and Katoshi are here. Okay, so Dr. Chung. Build. I'll be an engineer. And I'll get rid of forage animals on him. And Katoshi. Get rid of that as well. Okay, I'll do Katoshi's. Let me think about Katoshi's work. Katoshi's going to be a farmer. But I want this... I want this to be complete first. So I can do everything in the correct order. Okay, so I'm just going to speed up time until that farm's complete. Okay, so even though the silos were off, they put the wheat straw in the silos, and now they're not accessing it for the... <laughs> silos are a pain. So over here, I have I have Dr. Chung selected, and I'm going to just right-click on this storage wheat straw and click inventory. Okay, he's moving over here. Okay, I'm going to left-click on this silo, and then hold down shift and just drag everything right there. And then, same with this one here, I just left-clicked it just now. And hold down shift and put that here. So even over this distance, we can do it. And now Ruka and Logan and Otto, all right here. The job's off. So they're the ones that are doing the silo, pretty sure. Pretty sure that these three are the only ones doing the silo. And then once this once this gets built, we can go back to normal. Fast speed. Research complete for wells three. Excellent. Let's see how much water we have. So we have one barrel of water in the water tank. Well output is two. And it looks like we have some 
Slave mongers in town here. Everybody right here. Jobs off. And attack unprovoked. What? That's oh, a dogfight right here. Excellent. Excellent. Everybody back to work. Just make sure Kang gets, uh... Yeah, Rain the Giant and Kang are... Getting the meat from the Bone Dogs. Excellent. Katoshi. I was still in the other squad, that's why. So I'm just gonna have Katoshi follow Gnu right now. Gnu's usually moving and Katoshi's doing some strength training. Okay, turn the silos back on. Silos are back on. Get Tonka out of this house here. Okay, add the rescue to, to Katoshi, and I'm going to have him use the wheat farm, and then this wheat farm, then this one, the fourth wheat farm, next is cactus, all three, one, two, three, then the hemp farms, both of those, after that it's going to be water hauling, Then auto hole wheat straw and auto hole cactus. Then you can do the grain silos. You can then auto hole flour. Use the bread oven. Auto hole the bread basket. and use the cooking stove. If none of that is happening, <laughs> then use stone mine too. Auto hole stones, use stone processor too, and auto hole building materials. So Katoshi's gonna be a really busy guy. <laughs> see, his, um, see his stats here. Farming is one right now, which is fine. He's going to fail some harvests. Harvest yield for Katoshi is going to be 52%, so pretty much he's going to, we're going to flip a coin every time he tries to harvest. And he may fail, he may get it. But that, that'll go up pretty quickly because his farming is only one right now. So I'll speed up time, and now we are making sandwiches. Building this house as well. Building conditions 12. See, let's follow Katoshi a little bit. He's going like a quarter of the speed as everybody else. See, farming's gonna make him run a lot. His encumbrance now is 72%. So I may have to give him more weight. Because that's gonna dip below 70 pretty quickly. Strength is 35 right now. his inventory here. What's he gonna do? Okay, mining. Excellent. So this well... I'm gonna upgrade it to well number three. It's gonna require three building materials, two iron plates, and two more power. So that's gonna get upgraded. If the stone processor is not working, use the mine. Let's 
So to clear up some of the inefficiencies with uh, building material production. And I think we're going to need another well. I'm going to see once we get this one in place. Well is the most important thing right now. Without the well, they can't grow any of the crops. So, the well is the most important thing right now. Katoshi, what are you up to? Oh, excellent, he's farming. Excellent. Uh, well 3 construction complete. Excellent. Excellent. This one's ready to harvest. I added in this new extra large wheat farm and this large hemp farm to Ruka and Logan's list. And now this this hemp farm right here, the small, we're going to upgrade this one. And just check out what's going on with this right here. Out of resource, okay. So nobody's doing hemp storage. So the hemp is being grown, but nobody's hauling it to the hemp storage. It's right here in the. It's still in the farm there. So Dr. Chung. Oh, okay, so GNU doesn't have holding to hemp in his list. Okay, let's check out the progress of this long house. Building materials 20 and building conditions 19. Excellent. So with GNU, I'm going to clear out all of his jobs here. Most of them. And also Dr. Chung. So GNU and Dr. Chung, I'm going to duplicate their jobs here. So engineer. And then I want him to put away building materials. So auto hole building materials, auto hole iron plates, auto hole ore, iron, auto hole copper and electronics I'll do the I'll do the the wheat first so a little whole wheat next then cactus a little whole hemp after the wheat and cactus then auto whole fabrics they'll, they'll hold to the auto loom as well do water hauling And then, after all that, nobody's using this iron plate processor, so they'll use the iron refinery. And then, very, very last, use the iron resource. So that's GNU and Dr. Chum. Excellent, excellent. So what is he doing right now? Operate machine. Fast speed? Let's see. Let's check out Dr. Chung's inventory. We can make them a little heavier. More slave mongers running through town. Nobody as fast as that character can move, and right over here. Attack unprovoked. Slave mongers again. Hey! Alarm raised. Now, I'm actually committing a crime doing this, um, but there's no authorities to witness this. So if there's no witnesses to the crime when we're finished, then he never committed the crime. <laughs> you see the timer resetting here. And then once they're rolled down, then it counts down. Excellent. So let's get everybody to pick up a body. Okay, picking up the body put Katoshi back up above 70% now. Excellent. 
Strength XP is still 50%. He's at 38 right now. Toshi's going to be a strong robot. <laughs> Kang got somebody. I don't know if everybody got a body yet. Okay, I'm going to do a new building. And we're going to try this L house. I want to see how this one is. See if I can fit it somewhere over here. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Let's just see from this side. Excellent, yeah, so we're going to build this L house. It's 35 building materials, confirm. And now Sue. I'm going to turn off engineer on Sue. And the stone mine. She's going to do stone processor first. Auto hole. Auto hole. And stone mine too. There we go. So Sue's going to be turning out these building materials a little bit as well. I know I assigned way too many people to this. It only has two workers. Uh, but Logic is going to research some more, I think, pretty soon. Excellent. And this one's going to be the bar slash cafe. <laughs> this is going to be the sandwich shop right here. It's this L house right here. This I think we're going to use this one right here. We'll probably use it for crafting. And I want to see... I don't think I ever used one of these L houses before, so I kind of want to see what the floor plan is like for laying out stuff. I can kind of see stairs in the back here, but I need to play with it, you know? <laughs> oh, I see what's going on with logic here. I see what's going on with logic here. So I'm going to get rid of all these jobs list. So logic's Logic's jobs list is now clear. Medic, robotic, splint rigging, then rescue. After that, iron refinery. If the iron refinery is unavailable, stone processor 2. If both are unavailable, use the mine. And then if that's unavailable, use the iron resource. And then the hauling after that. Now let's see what logic does. Oh, he's on the mine, okay. I think I'm going to switch Katoshi from building materials over to iron mine. Toshi's going to use this iron refinery and then the iron resource. Little hole there. And then a little hole copper. With the list like this, he'll never get to copper, but that's okay. It'll just give me a reminder that we need it. Okay, so this farm right here is out of water. And let's see, storage. No water there. And the well output is not able to keep up with our farming needs, so we're going to need another another well. Yeah, right here next to the other one. Oh, we're kind of out of power too, huh? Oh, the wind just picked back up. Okay, two more, two more battery banks. I'll work on the two more battery banks, and then, then we can do another wind generator somewhere over here. Oh, 
That looks pretty good. Confirm. Crossroads is turned turn into a much larger operation than I had planned. <laughs> it's okay. Let's see our farms here. 92%, 55%, 72%, and 36%. So they're a little staggered. So once one of the farms is completed harvest, the next farm should take over shortly thereafter. So Katoshi is farming right now, and his farming is currently 10. So 62% of the time. About 65% of the time he's going to get a successful harvest. So since I put this house here, I kind of have to micromanage a little bit with the building materials because they want to take it out of storage right here and bring it right here. So canoe. Yeah, he's got building materials. i got to bring it over to the well here. Just right click on that. It's a couple more times. I need the well complete. It's, more, it's higher priority. It'd be kind of nice if you could sit building priorities in uh, the next installment of Kenshi. But it's really not supposed to be a base building game at all. The bases in Kenshi is supposed to be something to fall back on. And most of the game is supposed to be the adventure in the world. Or at least that was the, the ideas behind it. Okay, excellent. This should be the last one. Excellent. Well, three is complete. So we have two well threes now. So hopefully that's enough water for the farms. That The bread oven is also using water. So that's something to keep in mind of. Let's see, we're almost ready for the next harvest. Oh, this is the big harvest. Excellent. <laughs> it's two at once. Was Katoshi. And this hemp farm I'm going to upgrade as well. Excellent. I hope we get a surplus of water. This, uh, Water tank, words, water storage tank has been empty the whole time. Oh, we got some traders here. So I'll send GNU, broker GNU. We can give you a good price, human. Okay, show me your wares. I think just the research books and the building material. Oh yeah, yeah, the building materials and the iron plates. We don't need fabrics, we're making our own. We are making our own of these, but the, we have way too much going on. Okay, so Logic is going to trade with GNU. Take the books. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to do Iron Plates 2. It's going to be two research books. Iron Plates 2 for a better iron refinery. Logic, where are you going? You're supposed to be researching here. Oh, I didn't add it. <laughs> Use. And I'll move that to the top of his list. Excellent. So we're researching Iron Plates 2. 
Currently nobody is doing any kind of iron work. Okay, so when Soto's finished with her cooking, then she's gonna do iron work here. Use the stone pro use the iron refinery. Auto hole plates. Auto hole iron and use the iron resource and then I'll just put the iron resource above. There we go. See Katoshi's all healed up. All the way healed up. The He's got 17 points of wear damage here. We got a big thing. Just came in. Came into town right here. Everybody, attack the big thing. Kang, attack the slave monger. Gonna pick up Soto and put her in bed. Oh, he jumps! The bandits have arrived. The dust bandit bowmen. This is, must be the bandit raid here. They have dust boss here, war leader. Okay. Kang, right here. Everybody, jobs off. Right here. Soto's still in recovery coma. Good. Get your asses out here. Kang. Can I talk to this guy, man? Kang. Just to, oh, to attack all for Kang. Yeah, we're out here. Attack all. Just dust bandit, so. Go to medium speed there. Lay them low real quick. Bandit demands against crossroad has been defeated. Excellent. Everybody jumps back on. And you know what? I'm not even going to loot them because... It's not really worth that much inventory and if they get up and fight again then we'll gain a little bit more experience. Let's maybe check out this dust boss wherever he is. Here he is right here. Okay standard grade gear. We'll take the standard grade gear. new and logic right here. Jobs off. So GNU, logic, hamburger, and tonka. And old blue are headed to Squin. They're racing. And it looks like looks like the bulls are winning. Uh, just some hungry bandits over here, nothing special. Logic still has samurai boots here. Okay. Alright, we're gonna check out these shops. I added a mod to the game. I don't remember which episode it was. I think after one of the swamp episodes, where some of the shops may sell tabby boots. They're like ninja shoes. I just wanna see see what this armor shop has, if anything good. Let's trade. Ashland Storm Goggles. I don't really like those, though. 
Let's see. Okay, none of the... None of the... Tabby boots at the shop. It's okay. It's all this stuff. No, let's check out the next shop. Let's see what the general shop has. Let's trade. Okay, excellent. So logic is gonna get all the research books. Logic's got all the research books, old blue's got all the straw and flour. Take all the iron plates, all the building materials. I think we're okay on electrical components. Yeah, we're okay on all this. Steel bars. I don't think I don't think we have anything that needs that yet. I do want to set up uh, some weapon crafting very soon. Check out the trader shop. Okay, we're just checking out the maps here for this anything new. Oh yeah, Tech Hunter Library map here. The Lost Library. One hundred cats. We'll take that. Ancient Labs Tech Hunter map, 1,000 cats, we'll take that. Map of Vein, we already have. Map of the Swamps, we already have. Mercenary Tent, we already have. Okay, so we'll buy some research books as well. One more. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, great. We got every nobody stuck there, so they'll go back to crossroads. We got a hundred guardian in town here. Hundred guardian walking through town here, taking out some hungry bandits. So with the hundred guardian here, uh, toughness sixty-two, attack fifty-eight. Defense is uh, 48. Gotta be careful about fighting the slave mongers around this 100 guardian. When it says committing crime, this guy will see me committing a crime and then put a bounty on that character's head for the Shek Kingdom. He's just passing through. That oh, looks like Hamburger and Tonka. Old Blue are coming back now. Excellent. I just want to see what Rain the Giant's up to with these electrical components. Okay, so Rain the Giant made 14 electrical components so far. Manual iron refinery is on her list. I'm gonna add in iron refinery and then move that above electrics. So we're gonna get a more steady, more steady flow of iron plates here. Throwing the giant mining and using the iron refinery here. I'm just going to put these books into the research bench. Excellent, excellent. And we'll take a look at these maps now. Okay, Tech Hunter Library Map, Towns of the Lost Library.
I don't see it. Okay, it didn't say location added to the map, and I don't I don't see it here. So maybe that was a maybe that was a bug. There should be a section in green that I should see at any any zoom amount. Okay, we'll try this one. Tech Hunter map. Ancient Labs. So those two maps didn't work. What I'll have to do is um it's it's fine. Show research. Oh, I put them into the <laughs> I didn't close it. I didn't close it. <laughs> Maps, Tech Hunter map, the Lost Library. There it is. One location added to the map. Get down here, all the way down here. Okay. This this area right here with all the runes is starting to look very enticing. Check out the ancient labs. Not right over here. Oh, okay. It's like the next zone over from this from the swamp. So under core research here, neon signs, and this is a mod that I added. It's a Japanese mod, and then I have to add the English translation patch. Uh, this is two books. We're going to get that. And in a little bit, I'll show you how to do signs without that mod, the regular base signs. Seeing if there's anything here. We can get mounted crossbows. Oh, okay, battery power two and battery capacity, battery power three, battery capacity four, all those. Uh, clothing manufacturer. Clothing bench. We can make martial arts bindings. Yeah, we'll get the clothing manufacturing. We'll get that. And that was all my books. Okay. So, uh, so I have a mod for neon signs. I don't know if they... Um, I was looking at it the other day in the Steam Workshop, and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I was like, all right, let me try this out. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so we're going to see, see how it is after we research it. Is it already done? Yes, signs, neon sign. Neon sign bar. Uh, building material 300 for this, okay. Okay, all these signs are building material 300. Even the tiny one here. And I can't, also I can't place it on the wall. So, okay, so I have to do it the original way then. So, this adds the neon signs, however, I still have to place them in the same way that I would place the other signs. Uh, building material 300, even on the tiny one, so you're not you're not expected to build this okay that's fine it still adds the item to the game and we can play with them uh, tribute round on the way to crossroads now oh, Kilrog's eating the dust bandit <laughs> oh that's not Kilrog get this boom dog This guy died like he's like... Oh, he's off the ground too. This guy's like floating up into the air dead. That's the dust boss right there. <laughs> it's like a statue. You dwell on Shek country invaders. Send out your leader. Okay, Kang. 
right here. Okay, this must be the tribute round. We will settle this here and now. Alright, Kang. This guy's not wearing any armor. The Sheik Kingdom does not share, Outcast, and you are on our land. Either you pay us tribute from your stores, or we will run this outpost into the ground. Your choice, Outcast. Of course, this is your land. Take whatever we owe from it. Hmm, smart choice. Check the stores. Okay, right now, I need, um... Gnu to run into the house really quick. Everybody run into the house real quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, it's too late. I think they... So the choices were... The choices are, um... Let the Sheks steal food for me. Which is fine. Or I have to pay them every time they visit. Okay, so yeah, all the food is gone. Um, that's It's not all the food, because I think that hamburger should still have some. He does not. Okay, they stole all our food. <laughs> it was still the better choice, though. Still the better choice. The choices were fight them every time. And I would, I would like them to be my allies, so I'm not going to fight them. And the other choices were... Or the other choice besides fighting them was to give them the food. And the third option was pay them every time they came here. And so with the food option, sure they got the food this time, but I believe that once we become allies, they stop doing that. And also if, if I know that they're coming beforehand, which I usually do, then I can just take all the food and put it in somebody's inventory, one of the bulls inventory, and then they don't get any food. And they leave empty handed and they're, they're satisfied. So I chose that one because I think it's the better choice. Because normally I, I take all the food out of the... And put it in the bull's inventory anyway. But we got flour right here, so we're gonna... So Otto's gonna be making bread right now. Make a whole new round of sandwiches. Oh, excellent. The building uh, L house is complete. Okay, so inside the L house here, in the build menu under storage, I have shop counter right here. So I'm going to put that like right here ish, right there. Maybe a second one. So two of them. Confirm. And let's go back to the build menu. Shop counter. Place items you want to sell in the shop counter. If the building in town is open to the public visitors, then customers will come to buy things. Excellent. So each of the NPCs in this game have kind of tables, like, like loot tables of what they want to buy. And without modifications, it's very limited. It's, it's always food and medical stuff. It's never weapons. It's never ore. It's always like food and medical stuff and sometimes like hashish. So we want to fill up the counters here with food and hashish or food and medical stuff. And uh, open the crossroads to the public as well. And then this building here is also public. So this building here is also public. This building here, uh, the factory, we're gonna set that to private. And this longhouse here we're, we're, that we're gonna do crafting in is gonna also be set to private. I don't think that really makes a difference. I just don't want them wandering in there. 
Then we can go to interior here, and most of this is decoration. It's, it's all decoration, but I feel like it's just going to be like a trap that's going to just get characters stuck in, in the bar. Trying to move around the obstacles. <laughs> um, but we'll see how it, how it goes. I mean, I guess what I could do is put the bread oven and the stove in here. Have this more of a farmhouse and then have the cooking going on in here. So it, it's, it wouldn't be... That's okay, I'll just put extra flower storage in here. Small wind generator, this is going to be electronic components 4 and iron plates 7. And we am going to put that somewhere on the roof here. And then I want beds. I want the regular beds, I'm not sure where they are. Oh, interior here. Interior, so bed. And let's see which way they face. So I can't tell which is up and which is down. I'm just going to build beds across the top here. And these uh, building materials 1 and fabrics 4. Okay, excellent. The L house is, is uh, complete. I just finished furnishing it. I got all beds around the top here. Mercenary tent. Uh, small wind generator here. Uh, two spotlights on the outside. And then on the interior... On the interior, shop counters, general storage box, extra flower storage, shelves. Uh, a bunch of round tables with benches, crates, and seats. And then the comfy pillows here. So this is a lot of work to do. So this is a lot of work to do and confirm. Uh, it's going to be a lot of building materials and fabrics and stuff. And they'll get it done eventually. That's fine. Everybody, let's make sure jobs are on. Fast speed. And now let's just see what the food situation is. So they just completed another harvest. I'll just come dip inside here. Oh, zero food, okay. Oh, okay. So Otto's hard at work making sandwiches again, which is great. I'm going to put it on fast speed and cut ahead. Okay, so I'm, I just saved a backup of the game. I saved the game and then I saved a backup, so two separate files. Okay, on the new L house here that's going to be the shop, I'm going to add a sign to the wall here. I have a light here and a light here. So maybe I'll add the sign right here. This is purely cosmetic, so it's not going to change the game at all. Uh, what I'm going to do is hold down shift and press F12, and then pause the game. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. This statue right here in the circle is my town. Those are the, it's the center of town, and it's invisible, and the circle is kind of like the city limits. Um, don't worry about any of that stuff. The only thing that we're gonna be doing in this menu, in this lesson right here, is pressing this building, buildings. I'm gonna press that. And we have the building menu open here again, but except this one has a lot more items in it. Save a backup before you do any of this. I, I think I said save a backup like five times already. Save a backup. I'm going to press sign right here. Okay. I'm going to come down in this list to... I want sign three underscore bar. This one right here. This is the one I like. And I'm just going to put that one like right... Maybe under the light? Let's see about this side. Maybe I could do it like right on top of the light. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So right about here. Okay. And then confirm. 
and now it's not really connected here all the way. It's down here it's connected, but up here it's not connected. So I'm gonna click on it. Oh, maybe I have to get rid of, get out of this menu first. So escape. Okay, yeah. Now I click on the bar sign, and I have this. And I have this new window here with it, which is a positional window. If this isn't set to set to local, if it's set to global, it's gonna be a really pain to move this sign around. So set it to local. Okay, and then with the green arrow, I can just up and down. I'll just move, tweak it down a little bit so the, so it's like right on top of the light there. And then click on position. And I'm going to change the orientation here. Um, we have these hoops around the sign now. And I want to find the one that's roll. Sh should be this blue one. Just roll it back a little bit. Just like that. And now it looks like all the legs of the sign are in the building. Uh, maybe a little bit less on the top. Maybe a little bit, a little bit more roll. So I accidentally clicked the house, and when this happens, you have to be very careful just to click back on the sign. Uh, I don't really use this tool too much, only really to place these bar signs. And then I'm going to click on orientation again, and then just move it into the building a tiny bit. And then maybe a tiny bit over this way. Okay, excellent. So after a lot of playing with it, I got it to uh, where I want it. Just close that out and exit. Okay, unpause the game and then save. Now you only want to save it if you have the sign exactly how you want it and you didn't mess anything up. And if you did mess something up, then you reload the game, or you reload your backup. So with this neon sign mod, I believe that you're supposed to place it onto the ground, and then use the use this orientation position tool to set the sign where you want it to be. Something just like that. Exit. Okay. I got a neon open sign there. <laughs> Excellent. So that's the only thing I use the developer tool for. Let's see where they're at. They need more time. I think that... Uh, I think between this episode and the next episode, I need the, to let the game run. And I have a poll right now on the community tab of YouTube, and it's whether or not to send Kilrog onto a suicide mission. So let me know what you think in the poll if you want me to send Kilrog on a suicide mission. I was thinking um, to kind of see how dangerous one of these locations over here is. Uh, Kilrog was really cheap, and we got him to kind of see how dangerous the next area was going to be. So in the YouTube community tabs, if you like Kilrog, let me know not to send him on a suicide mission. And if you don't, <laughs> and if you want to see a, a video between this episode and next of Kilrog's adventure, then vote yes. Well, that's all the time I have. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more videos.